there's a lot of experience. So Nana has a lot of experience going into this, you know, at this level. And uh, Akshay is going to learn a lot through this tournament. And I think what HCL and SRFI has put together and done is, is really amazing for these junior girls. Even though some of the junior boys have had some really good matches, I think uh, Yuvraj Vadwani had a really nice win. Um, Kanav Nanavati as well. So you know some of these juniors coming up for them. This is this is this is what Indian squash needs. Again, there you see that kind of movement. And that's just bad luck, but it's 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 really really good. And I just wish more 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 and more juniors, especially in the girls, they kind of uh, you know take part in these because there is a big drop off after uh, I think after Joshna, and then uh, the next highest rank is Sunaina, which is round 75. So we need some of the junior girls to come up. It's again phenomenal movement from Akshya. Um, she needs to tighten up a little bit. She's a little bit all over the place, and with uh, Sunena's experience, she will punish her on those. There again, you see the service return is just not good enough. That's well played. I think a lot of nerves for Akshya in that game. Um, I think the second game is going to be slightly better. Sunena so also did not let up, you know, pushed from the start. She wanted Akshya to feel like she was the senior player. She was the higher seeded player. And, and that was really good to see. Uh, Sunena so started really quickly. Um, I have been following Sunena so for many years now. So I know that she's... She's really consistent with, uh, you know, whatever she does. She knows what she's good at and she does execute that pretty well. So Akshay is going to have to tighten up a lot more if she wants to trouble Sunena. And, you know, I just feel at this point for Akshay, she should just enjoy this moment. It's, it's, it's a big moment for her. And she's done a fabulous job in this tournament. I think she's beaten um, Sanika in the... In, in the Three quarters and then uh, Sachika Balwani in the quarters, which are which for her at this point are really big wins. That's a beautiful length. That's a really nice length from Akshaya. Let's see if she's settled down a little bit now. It's a poor service and at this level um, she's going to find out that you know these girls will hurt her if she's not going to serve on the side wall. So again That's really well done. That's that's a that's a really really well thought out shot from Akshaya. That's bad luck. I've been super impressed by the way Akshaya has been using that boost in her previous matches also, and you don't see that a lot in the junior um, girls. But this girl is you know uses that boost really well. There again, there's a slight hold in that swing and, and you know, she straightened that ball really well. So, this is really impressive from Akshaya. And that's that's really nice to see, you know, the backhand service wasn't working. She served from the forehand side there. A nice serve. She's actually got a two-point lead here now. That's a little bit of a funny bounce in the back. There again, uh, Slightly poor serve from Serena. I mean, not too bad, but I mean, 
Akshay was really severe on that. That's going to be a stroke. This is where the experience of uh, Sunena is going to help a lot. He's been in these situations a lot of times. And he's quickly closed that gap down. It's a really nice bit. I've been really, really impressed by this girl. Um, Akshaya's fundamentals as well. You know, the swing. Uh, Physicality is there. I already spoke about that. The basic swing, the way she is through the ball, is really good, um, and and she can really, really be a you know star for Indian squash in the future. That's a little bit loose. That's that's poor from Sunaina. She doesn't usually make those mistakes. I think a little bit of nerves on her side also as it's getting tighter towards the end of the game. It's again a poor service and punished by Sunaina. So that's really impressive to see how you know Akshay is able to match and almost uh, beat Sunaina for speed over there. Which is really good. I think Akshay is only 16 right now, and a little bit of polishing. Again, there she's onto that ball really quickly. It looked good to me. So that's a little bit of a wild boast. That's phenomenal movement again. That's a beautiful shot from uh, Serena. I don't think that's going to be a let. That's a lovely shot. That's well straightened by Serena over there. It's a tough shot with the wrong leg. Gonna be a stroke. That's a better game from Akshaya. Um, I think her nerves just settled down, and she had a few fabulous uh, shots, some great retrievals. So Nena, with all the experience coming through there, um, so Nena leading to love. I think this is gonna be tough now for Akshaya. Like I said, this is a you know this is a great experience for her. She's playing someone who's uh, 75 in the world around there, and. Um, you know she's going to learn from this. It's going to give her confidence to play the international tournaments at the junior level as well. So Nena looks a lot more uh, sure of herself. I think she had a slight scare yesterday with Urushi. It was it was a little bit of a tricky uh, match, which is always a bit tricky to play against. Um, today she's looking a lot more solid. Her movement is a lot better. Okay, let's see what this third game brings us. It's gonna the, the start of this game is going to be really important. I think Sunaina is going to try and you know assert 
her dominance and there you, you see that she's going to be really clinical the first few points um, that's just the experience that's a beautiful shot it's nice that's really good from Sunena that was a nice shot from Akshaya and she did really well to straighten that out a bit wild so then are very good with punishing those now and a lovely backhand drive uh, she has pulled the ball beautifully um, akshya shri Getting a little impatient there, I think too much pressure being applied by Sunaina and uh, Akshya doesn't want to get into that, you know, length hitting sort of a game which she has to kind of get used to at the higher levels because, um, you know, from the juniors, the transition is that, that the game, a lot more balls do come back, the game does get a lot longer and you can't just attack randomly from the back. This is a really healthy lead. Um, it's going to be really tough for Aksha to come back from here. There you can see that movement again. That's beautiful straight line hitting from Sunena. There you see that again. We have a great camera angle for that. Moving Aksha all over the court really well. There again. Akshay is going to feel that. Um, that's that's really really good from Sunaina. That's again a beautiful uh, length from Sunaina. That Akshay should not have attacked that. There's in no position to hit that. So a little bit of desperation now creeping in uh, to Akshay. It's it's kind of understandable. You know she's being. A little bit outclassed at this point now. So, but that's fine. I think she's had a great tournament. Um, that's that's a that's a cheap point um so here you know you're seeing actually sunena kind of settle down now she knows you know in the third game the second game got a bit close and a bit edgy for her but here um, she has settled down and i mean a length like that is just beautiful to see her hit and it's going to be too much for her from here on and that's fine i think uh, it's been a great tournament So that's well played Sunaina, well played Akshya, the whole tournament, three love to Sunaina.
दिया रिजल्ट कोट दिया रिजल्ट कोट के ऊपर नहीं तो फिर ना न्यूज़ पेपर कटिंग से दिला नेती मरे आना पूछ रहे ये ना नडूला आज वारा मारी रहो आना पूछ ना अपना रिजल्ट कोट Hello everyone. Welcome to the first semi-finals in the men's ACL SRFI Indian Tour. This is the Chennai leg. This is going to be a really long match. Um, I think I breakfast time right now. I I will probably be eating lunch by the time this match is over. probably my um, most favorite junior boys player um, used to be that's uh, Vela Vela one um, I think he's a British junior open uh, champion I'm not too sure but I think he was world number one in the juniors um, extremely fit really really agile and uh, super strong He's uh, currently studying at Columbia University, I think. Um, I think he has another year left. I'm going to be playing against Abhishek Agarwal. Um, Agarwal has come a long way uh, in the last two years since I've been kind of watching uh, the men's wash in India. He's he's developed a little bit of uh, an all-court game now. Um, he is extremely fit. Um, I don't know how you know how their training has been impacted with uh, due to lockdowns and uh, COVID. If if both these boys are training, this is going to be a really long match. Uh, they're both extremely fit and quick.
it's going to be really interesting to see um, Abhishek's tactics for this one. Vela one being a lefty. Um, usually, the game's played on um, the lefty's backhand side. But you know, even in 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 the modern game, most of the right-handed players are used to playing on their backhand side. So it's going to be really interesting um, to see whether Abhishek takes him on on his forehand on on Vela one's forehand or not. I mean, just to stick my neck out, I would predict a a three-one three-love Vela one here. You're gonna see a lot of this in the first five to ten minutes while both of them are fresh. Um, almost no ball is, is is not going to get picked up. Everything is going to be retrieved. They're both really quick. Um, the good movers, especially Vela. I think there was minimal interference there. Um, I think both the players at this stage are just feeling each other out, you know, just just checking out how fit the other person is, how much work they've managed to put in. Um, like I said, both are fresh. These rallies in the beginning are going to be relatively long until one of them kind of gives way. And also, I think it's a little bit of a mental um, game, trying to show the opponent that look, I am ready for the longer game. So both are going to put that, you know, put that precedent down in the beginning. All the um, junior kids watching, even some of the senior kids, you see how you know how dynamically Vela gets out of the corners. It's it's, it's really phenomen phenomenal. Watch his, uh, his first step, how quickly he takes that. It's really good, and how balanced he is after that. Little bit of an awkward bounce. <coughs> it's going to be a stroke, I think. Again, an awkward lucky bounce. Three, 
I think this first game is a is a lot more important for Agarwal. Um, simply because physically, I think Vela is 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 the fitter, is, is the stronger boy. So Agarwal does need to win the first game. I thought he was going to stop there, he's played through that. Again, um, you know, I, I want to actually thank HCL, um, SRFI for putting this together. If nothing else, now every morning I get to see some squash, it's fun. Um, it gives you know it gives the players something to look forward to. I, I think it's, you know it's been a it's been a tough one one and a half years for for most of the squash players in India. Um, you know nothing to train for and maintaining those physical levels when you don't really have anything in sight gets a little bit tough. So this is a really good initiative. Um, a lot of junior um, junior boys did participate in this and actually did quite well. Someone like a Yuvraj had a had a good result um, and a lot of experience playing playing uh, playing the PSAs. Um, I think Kanav Nanavati also. I'm not sure if he's still a junior, but I, I I think he's just coming out of the juniors also. Again again he did quite well in the in this tournament. In the girls we saw in the first uh, semi-finals Akshay was there. So this is this is really good for the sport. I think we need a lot more of these and I do think um, there's another one happening um, I mean I, I do know that there's another one happening in the next week in uh, in the Shimnadar University so again thanks a lot uh, we need a lot more uh, you know, corporates to get into the sport promote the sport that's not going to be a lead that should not be a lead yeah This is really tight squash and it's really going to test um, both of them physically. It, it's going to, I, I mean, you can see Abhishek is starting to hurt a little bit there. And and that is uh, that is basically the worry for uh, for Abhishek in this match because um, you can you can already see, you know, the body language. It, this is, this, and, and I mean, you can't blame Abhishek for this because we don't know the kind of work put in during COVID and you know who was better prepared who's not um, but you can see the these are these are a few tired errors kind of creeping into Abhishek's game And also, you know, psychologically knowing that I'm playing someone like uh, Vela who's going to retrieve most of the balls and is going to, you know, go on, that does take a toll on the on the physicality of it. So that's it makes it just that much tougher. Yeah, that's gonna be a let.
that's a smart shot through the center but that's still a lot of work being put into abhishek's legs um that's something you know vilas added to his game over the last 2 3 years also playing the senior circuit learning you know to move the opponents um all over the court and not just uh, hurt them at the back now and he's actually starting to use his speed to to attack rather than just defend which is a which is going to be really tough for the opponents so we are stroke i think That's a lovely width. That's beautiful width from uh, from Agarwal. I think Vela over there kind of distracted himself, you know, by putting his hand up. Um, again, for the juniors, just play the ball. The referee is going to call it, and he's not really going to change the decision. This is a lot of work being done. Um, you know, these next four or five points for Agarwal are really important. that shut out really well shut out by uh, vela being so strong on the tee Nice shot from Agarwal. He needs to do a lot more of that. Um, otherwise, this is going to become really tough. As well played. But look at that defense from Vela. That is phenomenal. You know that was that was really really tough. And now he's actually on the attack. Nice drop. I think that's the correct decision. There was a little bit of fishing there. Uh, there were some really good gets from Vela in that point. That's the first game to Vela. Um, you can almost see the, you know, the the shoulders drop for Agarwal there because he knows that the first game was really important. It's going to be tough from here to come back. I think he'll have to do something exceptional um, to slow Vela down. For now, it's looking more like a three love uh, for Vela.
Again, um, the start of this game is going to kind of uh, decide what's going to happen because uh, Vela is looking, you know, he's looking pretty fresh. He's, he's looking fine. Agarwal is, is looking like he has slowed down a little bit. So it's going to be interesting to see if he's, you know, mentally ready for this. That's a really nice hold from Agarwal and that's a really nice point. He needs to do a lot more of that. Nice shot. Beautiful shot again. Well played. Really well played. He's put a, deep, a small lead, you know, for himself. Now he needs to get that's a really poor service at, at a time like this where he's 2-love up. Um, that was a crucial point. 3-love and 2-1 makes a big difference. Might be a stroke. Whoa. I think the referee feels that the line was from the right of the player. So Agarwal's got a got a three point lead here and you know he needs to push on. This this next point is really important. Again, a 5-1 or a 4-2 is gonna make a big difference psychologically. That's a beautiful shot from Villa. And and a few errors creeping in from Vela's uh Vela's racket. Not expected. I think just lack of concentration at this point. It's again well played from Agarwal. Um, Vela is being too loose going into the front now. Um, you know, if, if if done right, then that's it, it's good if he goes to the front like that. But if done wrong, then he's going to get punished. And that's what's happening in this game. Um, Agarwal really needs to capitalize on this lead. It's a five-point lead he's got. That's a bit lucky. That might be on all that. Obviously, I should not referee because I don't know, you know most of these new um, new lets and strokes, and a lot of changes which are basically helping the game to be played played on and not to have so many stoppages which is which is good it's a beautiful finish 
Thank God I got that one right. That's a little bit of a tired movement. Vela just held him there and you know took the ball across his body. Um, and again, now it's getting really dicey for Agarwal here. I, I I honestly don't think that he's going to be able to come back from from uh, from being too loved down. So you know this next point, eight five, six seven again. This is a big point coming up. It's a nice tight squeeze from Agarwal. Um, really needs to win this game. And then we have a match. There's going to be a stroke. Be another stroke. I think Agarwal just seeing the finish line and is, is kind of forgetting how he got there. He needs to stick to the same process that got him those nine points. You see, that's a, that's a much better boost from Vela this time. It, it had a lot more control, um, and the counter punch got punished. With the movement, that's a nice shot from Agarwal. He has managed to squeeze him on this side a few times, which is surprising as that's Vela's stronger side. And just at that crucial time of you know he was nine five or nine six up. He has lost focus and he has forgotten actually how he reached, um, you know, he got that lead. And now, again, these next two points are going to be really important. I also felt like, you know, from about 3 1, um, Vela made a few unforced errors, which obviously now he's, he's focused a lot more and he, he's, he knows that if he closes out these two points right now, it's going to be. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be really difficult for Agarwal to come back. So he is going to be focused. I I would be really surprised if I saw um, an unforced error from Vela in the next two points. So Agarwal is going to have to win these points. He's not necessarily going to be um, handed these two points now. This is a nice um, tactical break. You know, this is a this is a really good break actually for Agarwal because um, because the, the the momentum Vela had you know coming from nine five to nine six this break, uh, sorry from nine five to nine all this uh, this break is going to kind of just just, just disrupt that momentum. And that's a really, really poor error from Agarwal.
very well defended. I, for me, Agarwal is switching the side from uh, from Vela's backhand to his forehand way too early in the point, um, and he's not going to get much joy on this side, you know, because that is a stronger side for any lefty. There again, you can see that that oh, that's a beautiful shot from uh, Agarwal. been wrong before That's a nice length from Agarwal and again Agarwal knows how important this game is you know and I'm really surprised at 9 all he made that uh, really poor decision and hit service return into the, into the tin. It's really well played. I think that was a really nice combination on Agarwal. Again, I'm not a referee, but that that was a tough let. But that should be a let. That's too high. That's really high. Okay, I'm just gonna stop giving decisions because. I can't seem to get any right. That's really tight from Vela. But it's nice to see Agarwal really make a big effort in this game. You know, I really thought after the first game, um, he was kind of done. But he really got stuck into Vela in this one. That's, so that's too love to Vela and, and, and I, I don't think there's a way back for Agarwal. I think in that second game, Agarwal had had his chances. He was six one up, nine five up, um, or nine six up. I'm not sure, uh, but he let Vela get back, and now uh, this is going to be really tough. 
two love down it's, it's going to be tough I, if i was agarwal i would play a lot more on uh, on vela's vela's backhand side i mean i'm not saying play the whole game that side but currently it's almost like he's playing more on the forehand side which is the stronger side i'm sure he he also feels more confident on his own backhand side as most of uh, you know the, the right handed players games do happen down the backhand side but in this case he does need to switch it up a little bit he does need to mix it up in It's a tight, tight squeeze from Vela. Um, Agarwal really needs to dig deep here. He can. I mean, I have seen him play some really tough uh, five games in the past. You know. That's really well played. Um, that was well played by Agarwal as well there. You know, but that's just the movement that Vela has. and that was defended really really well that's a beautiful shot from agarwal that's a really beautiful shot um this is what he was doing in the start of the second game which got him the lead and then you know towards the end of it he started to not attack as much to the front which he does need to do and he can do Villas on top of that really quickly. again a lovely post from agarwal um the follow up could have been a bit better but that was a really really good post that's a bit loose will make the error there
A really heavy forehand from Vela. Um, you can you can clearly see Vela. You know every time Agarwal is taking him to the backhand side, Vela switches it back to the other side. And I think this is this is the the push that Agarwal needs to make is now, and and that's that's an un, that's a complete gift from uh, Vela. And Agarwal needs to take that and move from here now. Beautiful shot from Vela. Agarwal leaving the ball short. It's too loose. It's just too loose on the on the boast. Um, good idea, but the execution was not so nice. There again. It's a loose post from Vela. Um, Agarwal needs to do a lot more to that. That's a nice shot. That's a great shot from Agarwal. Yeah, but you know, really well defended, and that's the that's the speed, the physicality that Vela has. Um, that, those were almost uh, you know two winners Abhishek hit. I don't think that's going to be a let. That was a really loose ball from Agarwal. Put away by uh, Vela really nicely. Now, that gives him five match balls. That's done. That's well played, both of them. Um, Vela was just too strong, I think, physically. Uh, Agarwal did have his chances in the second game, and I, I, I felt that if he converted that game, then then we would have been in for a for a match
Hi everyone. Um, welcome to the second semi-final in the women's. Between Tanvi Khanna and Aprajita, two really experienced players. Um, they played each other multiple times in various trials. Again, the physicality over here is going to make a big difference. Um, Aprajita does have really good hands when given time on the ball. Again, these next few points for Aprajita and the first game for Aprajita is going to be crucial in this match. Um, That's a really nice trickle boost. Really nice deception from Tanvi Khanna. Aprajita just not reading that uh, forehand drive. I think she was looking for the boost over there. That's a really nice point from both both of them. Um, Tanvi just having the better finish. Yeah, again, Aprajita going for the quick attack. Um, Tanvi is, is really physically strong. So the movement into the front corners is going to be is going to be much, much uh, easier for her at the start. That's a that's a really desperate shot from the back of the court, and no need for that at all. That's a bit wild from Prajita. That's a nice shot, that's a really nice shot from Aprajita. Then we're not expecting that. Like I said, Aprajita with the ball in hand can do a lot. Um, it's on the move where she, she she tends to struggle. There again you see that she's got she's got really good hands. That's a that's a careless error from Aprajita. It's 
कंफर्टेबल फर्स्ट गेम फॉर फॉर तनवी अपराजिता नीड्स टू स्टेप इट अप अ लिटिल बिट कीप द बॉल अ लॉट टाइटर अदरवाइज शी इज गोइंग टू फाइंड दैट द पेस इज गोइंग टू इज गोइंग टू रियली हर्ट हर मूवमेंट Andrew can you hear me Yes sir um yes. I'm joined by uh, GD squash Gautam Das <laughs> from Calcutta Start with start GD squash man <laughs> On Instagram guys if you ever want an interview done this is this is the moment to write in the comments on YouTube I have GD squash here with me Hi I just missed the first one. I think there's some uh, audio problem. Now we can hear you. Uh, yeah, super. Super boost. We see the Beerings player playing both represented the country. I've been seeing all these youngsters coming up. Uh, if you're noticing this uh, last two games, it's super I'm excited to see these young guys coming up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, I did Akshay's match with Sunaina. Sunaina did overpower yeah, a that. bit, but you know, it, I think it was really, really good for Akshay to be, um, you know, to, to to be able to reach the semi-finals of a, of a tournament like this. It's it's so much experience and it's it's really needed for for Indian squash. Absolutely, and yesterday was a big win for her. Huge win, even even day before she yeah. playing Sanika, um, and then again these are much higher ranked PSA players and High more experienced players. Yeah. players. So and give these guys a lot of confidence. I even felt uh, you know Yuvraj beat uh, I think Ravi Nikshit in the first round. Again, that's a big win for I them. Think, uh, 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 big, I think Ravi got injured. I think he didn't uh, get into the court. He was limping before, so he left it. Yeah, but you know, even then, even then, the amount of experience yeah, these guys have absolutely. for for these kids to, uh, you know, to to actually squeeze the win out is a big thing. Yeah, it's a huge thing. Absolutely. The Tanvi is in control of this game. One love up. Yeah, I think the physicality for Prajita here, you know, um, that's a beautiful yes. shot. Again, um, that give Prajita that, the ball at a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this, that's her favorite, holding and playing this kind of shot. She's been playing and she has mastered it. Hey, you know, you can just see the the Tanvi breakdown of Prajita's movement with that shot there. and and aprajita struggling to kind of recover from that and i think that Absolutely. is uh that is the, the the that is going to be the fundamental problem for aprajita in this match because that's a beautiful shot again from aprajita on the rise even uh, even, if you, hand. even if we uh, uh, talk about the last match where abhishek was up in the second game the way means when you are up you shouldn't collapse like that you should keep your momentum correct and go on Right, right, and and yeah, there were two massive momentum swings in that match. I actually thought Abhishek would win yes. the second game, um, and that would have been made it a lot more interesting, made my work a lot longer and harder. But I, mean, I think he, uh, all he, the younger generations who are watching, see, it's an unforced error. I Means she could take anything out of that. It's a little bit uh, greedy to finish it. Yeah. I, a lot of it i think comes down to the physicality of it you know she knows uh, i mean tanvi is the fitter player here so aprajita knows that you know and and that's where the little she bit of to, desperation kind of starts coming and she has to go for the shot i mean she cannot yeah. go and keep on running 
correct like there again yeah. you see that it's just the 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 pace of hit is uh, is troubling uh, aprajita aprajita but i think this younger generation need to know that you have to keep the ball and uh, do not go I means you can go for quicker shots but i guess they have to keep the ball and play and attack yeah that's something you know i was really impressed with the uh, with akshya she's uh, you know yes. play in the earlier rounds even today even today with uh, sunaina she played quite well sunaina is obviously really experienced and extremely good um but akshya you know and 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 it just shows because she's fit enough so she's she's okay to play the longer game she's not in such a hurry um she does attack it's not that she won't attack but she does it very intelligently it's not unnecessarily done which is a problem in Actually, most junior miss akshya unforced again but two three unforced okay. error and you have to yeah i think the the uh, mindset is akshya shri or the younger generation that come up I've been I've been watching them after almost a year and half. I mean, there's no live matches going on, or but the way they have improved on the physical uh, things, it's tremendous. I mean, this is how I think uh, the game is also becoming very intense. And if you do not focus on your physical thing, just by shots, I don't think that uh, you can uh, grab your match. What are your views? I I agree with you, especially at the higher levels. You know, it's 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 at the at the under 13s and the under 15s, you get away with a few, uh, with a, with a few decent uh, you know shots and all that. But the minute you enter the under 19s and the women's, um, and even the women, you see the PSA now, the top 20 uh, women. It, you know, it's a lot different from what it was say five years or ten years ago, where only the I mean, top four or five were really uh, professional about it. no i'm talking even in the world you know so the the overall level of women's physically has gone up so much that the junior girls need to get physically uh, you know ready for that kind of a game because when during this pandemic which is um, ongoing most of the courts have opened but during the last year of pandemic every uh, everything was shut I think people have really yeah. means all our players have taken real pain in doing the fitness workouts, which we can see. Yeah, which is really good, you know. So that's I think once the uh, uh, I think every junior who's kind of watching this and listening in is going to be praying that you know we give them some sort of a weird heads up that okay tournaments are starting now because. Um, I think everyone is really working hard, and you know it's it makes it so much harder to work hard when you don't have a tournament in sight because you don't know Correct. what you're training for. Yeah. So you know this initiative, I think this is huge. If these tournaments go off smoothly, there's one more in uh, Shimnadar University coming up. It'll give uh, the federation also a lot more confidence to kind of you know do the junior yeah. circuit. And, Absolutely. Uh, and I think that'll be amazing for the kids. I think once these two tournaments go through, what the discussion was going on, I think they might plan to start the junior circuit in that way. Yeah, so that'll be that's a beautiful shot from Tanvi. She doesn't, uh, you know, you usually hit that. Um, I think that's something since I do coach her, so that's yeah. something. Yeah, we we have been working on a lot because you see the Egyptian girls, you know. They they play the all court game and it's not just absolutely you know from from and and with a margin it's not just um, just keep on playing when someone yeah, is supposed yeah. yeah yeah so and and the game it's is changing it's becoming dynamically there absolutely the main problem I think it's happening with our players they do not change they uh, they have to change the pace if somebody is playing faster you slow it down and keep on changing the pace keep on making the players move all around. They feel that if they are playing, to keep on playing that one side. Correct, correct, absolutely right. So once that uh, the mentality change, I mean that has to come in your practice shot. session. That means the coach should give a free hand to the players do do whatever you want correct. in your practice. Correct. So that the ideas because we as a we should be using our thing as the guidelines. That means if I tell him that no on the drop you have to play. A move or a counter drop or a drop, so they only keep on doing that. You give them that these are the things which go like what happened right now. Right. Ask them to. Right. This is the thing we can do, but you can also use your head and try and do different things. So once the confidence comes, then they show it in their match. Absolutely. 
you are a you know a level three am i right yes. a level three yes. wsm level three. coach so yes yeah all you junior coaches including me got it from uh, <laughs> gd directly <laughs> tips uh, that's, that's something feel. that you know I, I i learned that in the wsf one because you know we guys are not taught all this so there these open drills etc etc make a big difference they do Absolutely. make a big difference because as a coach you are usually just doing closed drills most of the time and that's not good yeah no closed drills and the thing is our means i do not want to criticize any of the coaches but they say no you have to play this so where's the players yeah, yeah. evolving yeah. their own the ideas the creativity kind of the creativity right, goes right. so you give them okay a guideline okay you can do this but you can also do that so once you start doing that i think the players also get more confident and play free right. so i feel the coach at the starting point should not give any any pressure to a player you do whatever you see tanvi the way she is moving she is utilizing that's the ball a beautiful shot i, I you know Absolutely. at the last three points we guys have been discussing other stuff but have been played um for really really high quality which is good to see you know that's that's really loose from other as soon as i say that i i end up jinxing whichever player <laughs> i see that <laughs> No, the main thing you see Tanvi, she is making Abrajita move all four corners. She is not playing one side or playing that shot. Can't she just continuously making her move, thinking that because of her fitness level or whatever, she is must be tired from the last match. But she is making her move, and West she is getting the points. I think the junior right. players should learn from this that you have to utilize all four corners instead of just playing uh, that rallies and rallies. Um, absolutely and that's why i think you know this is i think if hcl can continue to support srfi and we can have a lot more of these uh, psas even just to watch for the juniors it's amazing i mean right now obviously crowds are not loud but you know um, i remember pre covid uh, srfi had started uh, timing the junior tournaments along with the psas you know that a uh, junior tournament would end and the last two days you would have the psa yeah and that was PSA phenomenal PSA. for the uh, for the for the player juniors because they got to see the semis and the finals and how these guys played the physical nature maybe interact with a few of them so it was really really Absolutely. good and it's a it's a match ball and again i think we will see tanvi and uh, sunena Uh, in the finals what's final your prediction gd game. let's yeah. hear you live <laughs> what is your prediction for the finals let's put you on the spot i think it will be a very good match yeah i mean i feel like last time they played here in kakata it was quite a close one right but i think uh, it will be a good match both both the players are working very hard what i have been seeing from the things but i guess it's a stroke No, you got to give a prediction, bro. Before this is over, you can't just run away with this diplomatic. Both are playing well and all. You have to pick one, guys. He's live on YouTube. He has to pick one. Pick one. So no one's going to do anything. No, absolutely. So, so which one you are trying to? I, I, I feel no. it's uh, we'll see. I feel it's Tanvi. Okay, I picked one. Oh God. now just to make it equal i can't obviously go with sunera because i do coach tanvi so i am just neutrally going to say that it's going to be a great match <laughs> and i'm just going to leave it at that <laughs> no but it's big tanvi very tough match because uh, i saw because sunena at the last match i think she make lot of one force error and with the junior players you can't do it obviously she uh, was under pressure but she cannot right. make those kind of mistakes uh, where with uh, junior players like that So in that way, I think she should come back with the full uh, confident and play on, and that should be a great match tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for that. I will be seeing you in the <laughs> next match, which is Pradhan versus uh, Betha. That's yeah, going to be yeah, interesting. That will be a interesting, very interesting. Lot of referee have to do a lot of things. Yeah, we just wait and watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, Gautam. I'll see okay, you for that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Bye.
Dhruv, are you there? Subhu, can you hear me? I can hear you, GD, sir. Hi, uh, Dhruv, oh, super. So, what's the thing about this match? What do you think? Uh, you know, I've predicted all right till now. I think uh, Pradhan is going to win this. Um, okay. I think his match in the quarters was a really tough match uh, with Abhay. Um, I don't think Abhay was playing at his best, but uh, you know, still, uh, Abhay is a really good player and Pradhan uh, beat him 3 love there. So, obviously, Pradhan is is in really good form. I, I, you know, I spent a bit of time with him in Goa, we played a bit there. He was in, uh, in Delhi, Delhi also. A, he was in Delhi also for a little bit, yeah. about a week of his training. I mean, I was super impressed with his, you know, his professionalism and the way he goes about things. Um, again, Beta has been one of the top juniors coming through. He has really good hands, really good strokes. It's, it's, I don't know, again, you know, because of the COVID, I don't know how hard Beta has been working. Um, for a lot of these juniors, the, the COVID situation was a bit, you know, disheartening and a lot of them kind of stopped started. So and I think he's been, uh, he was, what I know and what I spoke to in between, I think he's uh, been in he's there, I think most right. of the times. So right. He's there in between. So if he's physically and, uh, on, if uh, if Beta is physically, you know, up for it, I think this is going to be a really good match because Beta has all the shots, he has all the gifts to actually trouble Pradhan. Um, Absolutely, that's what I was telling, you know, that it will be a good, tough time for the referees and Pradhan will be so cool on court. He has to remain that one. Right. But, um, but I also I enjoy... Uh, yeah, about, um, Sorry, go on. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Where Beta, where Beta uh, straight game 3, that match I thought means I thought he is a very... means Adit will give him a good fight or... But uh, the way he's been training in Egypt with top players and all... But Beta played really well for that one. Right. I think uh, he's going to find that you know, Agar uh, this uh, sorry, Pradhan is a is a different is a, is a very different type of a player from uh, Adit Zaveri. So you're going to find a lot more uh, mix up uh, in uh, Pradhan's game. Um, you know, even even in training, even in, in watching his matches, I I personally really enjoy watching him play. Um, I do enjoy watching Beta play as well. You know, it's not a it's not a very conventional bang bang type of a game. He's a very intelligent player also. So this is a this is a good match to actually watch the you know them out seeing each other. Like you're saying, if Beta is fit, then this is going to be a really tight match. Absolutely. And plus uh, the way he stops and plays his shot, that's going to trouble Abhishek. And being a little tall, I think Abhishek has to. But as you know, Abhishek he has been fab in this few years, as you said. Yeah. Um, I I just you know really like his uh, work ethic, and you know I've I um, I've I've spent a lot of time with him. Literally, like he's been staying you know where we've been, and when he puts his mind to something, um, you know he's he's really on. He's uh, so that way he's. That's and that's that also comes with a bit of maturity, you know. Beta is just coming out of his under 19. Pradhan's been on the uh, on the senior circuit for a for a for some time now. So all that kind of I just feel like that's going to favor Pradhan a lot. It's it's so I would go with like a 3-1, 3-2 uh, Pradhan victory here. What's your your are you going to go with Beta? Uh, no, no. I'm I see my uh, uh, Pradhan is my. I've been tra I trained him for 6-7 years when I was with the oh, nice. team. Oh, nice. So, Pradhan is my favorite from under 11. So, when he was playing with Mahesh, it means every final, okay. most of the matches, he's been there. So, 
So Abhishek Bhatta, yes, uh, he, he travelled with me once and uh, uh, twice uh, for the international circuit. And uh, very hard working, uh, even Bhatta is also, means he wants to achieve a lot and he's been working right. hard for it. And he had some uh, very, means five setters in uh, Dutch and uh, Cologne Junior in 2017 when he went very close and then lost, losing that match. But very, and he was so upset, he was almost uh, ripping to crying. That means the hard work he did. That shows the potential of the player that how much effort they are putting on court. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've seen uh, better play some fabulous matches in the juniors. Uh, you know. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I am a bit nervous because I have helped the a little bit. So, you know, that's why even in Tanvi's match, I was so glad that you came because it, it's tough, you know, when you're watching. And, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. It, it is. is. And you're, uh, you're. Yeah. So. We are just trying to analyze and try to give uh, things which are people who are watching that yeah. what can be the best uh, to be done and what's happening. It's as you said when you were uh, Akshay's and uh, Akshay Shri's and Sunena's match uh, was going on, you said that uh, the youngsters are coming up really good right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I was a bit, you know, I wanted someone like, um, I mean, I'm, I'm calling it out here, but someone like Ashwarya Kukyandani. She should have been playing this, um, you know, I, I know that in the next one, Anad Singh is playing it. You know, these, these, these girls, they need to play these, they need to kind of, because they themselves sometimes might uh, surprise themselves, you know, because as, from a coaching perspective, like I see, I travel for, the tri for, the, for a lot of the trials and every time I see these, some of these junior girls play, it always strikes me that, you know, some of these juniors can actually upset the seniors, especially in the girls. In the boys, it's a lot harder because it gets physical really quickly. Mm. But in the girls, for sure, and and that I feel is a big motivating factor for some of these girls to kind of continue to play the game. If you know they can make the senior team, and all that makes a big difference to them. So, yeah. You can see all the variety from uh, Pradhan already being put in and he's you know he's making a statement here that I can hit all these shots and and you know you have to cover all of them and that kind of checks um, the movement of the opponent and makes it so much harder to uh, play. Bit of nerves gonna be there for Beta. It's 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 again a really big stage for him. It's the semi-finals of a PSA. I think he's just gonna settle down a little bit. First few points are gonna be a bit, um, you know, these are few easy points for Pradhan. Um, I don't think it's going to be that easy. Uh, Beta is going to settle in. It's going to take a bit of time. That's a lovely shot from Beta. That's really well played from Pradhan. Um, you know, he's he just tightened up on almost all the fundamentals and he's always had the flair. Um, he's looking lighter. He's 
looking quicker here. Yeah. Going for yeah, too much there. Back. I think there was yeah. a net. A net kick. Are you back again or are you on again? I think TD Squash has left me again. Calcutta struggling with his Wi Fi. That's a beautiful finish from Pradhan. Um, that was not so bad from Betha there. That point actually was not so poorly played. One bad shot and Pradhan, you know, put it away really well. Pradhan in this kind of form is going to be really hard to beat. Beta really needs to step it up, needs to tighten up a lot more. Otherwise, you know, this could finish really quickly. That's much better. That's much tighter. He needs to just settle down, calm the nerves a little bit. I have seen him play a um, good tight squash. So, I do expect him to give a, a, a really good fight to uh, Pradhan. That's a bit wild and lucky. Um, but he'll take that bet at this point, I think. He just needs to get a few points under his belt. That's really good for Beta. That's an unforced error. Little, little bit of pressure being applied by Beta. Um, again, really important point. 7 4 or 6 5. Big difference. That's a poor service. At, at, you know, these fundamentals, even for the juniors, at, at a really crucial time, that's a cheap point. Again, now the lead 8-4, it's tough, it's tough to come back from here now. He needs this point. It's a really nice drive from Beta, but really good length from Pradhan again to the back. Beta needs to find a way to put a lot more pressure on Pradhan right now. Um, something like what is going on right now is he's just playing into Pradhan's game. That's I mean, he got squeezed there, but again, that, that needed to be hit better at this level. Now, there you can see him practice that. It's an unforced error uh, from Pradhan and he just opened the door for Beta a little bit to get in here. Um, Beta really needs to make a move here because again, from a psychological point of view, the first game for Beta is really important. It will make him believe that he can actually win this. And that's really poor mistake there. Just when the pressure was starting to kind of, uh, you know, come on to Abhishek, he just gave away a cheap point there. Well played, better, beautiful drop. Pradhan should have done a lot better with the earlier shot there. He had a loose ball and he didn't do much with it. Uh, 
Well, that's a great get from Abhishek. That was not such a bad shot from uh, Beta, but Pradhan really punished that. Three game balls for Pradhan now. This should be a stroke. That's that. The really important first game um, gone to Pradhan here. We're back guys, Pradhan leading, um, one love, again start of this is going to be really important. Yeah, Dhruv, can you hear me now? Yes, GD Squash from Calcutta, okay. I can hear you now. <laughs> yeah, I understand, you know, Calcutta and all struggle with Wi-Fi, so it's tough for you guys, fine. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so my boy is playing good, yeah? one love up. Acha, now he's become your boy. They're very good. Yeah. And Beta is struggling right now. <laughs> he was my boy from, I told you, from under 11, not now. <laughs> right, right. I'm just troubling you. <laughs> so I think the last game, I uh, just missed it out because of this. I think a little bit of nerves for Beta, you know. Again, big stage. And Pradhan is playing really, really well. He's not given him an inch. Yeah, and yeah. Now those kind of uh, loose drops he needs to kind of get out of because Pradhan will you know really hurt him. Absolutely. From the front, oh, Pradhan. That was, that was very good retrieve. Yeah. Much better from, speed from Pradhan. Than... Yeah. Once you open up the court with Pradhan, he's going to really make it difficult for you because he is really really intelligent and it's like this. You know you can't leave the ball like that. Where he got lucky, guess right, but. It won't happen often yeah, enough. That, so let, yeah, let given. I I have stopped trying to referee. I got every decision uh, no, no, wrong in the last. Oh really? Uh, <laughs> the main thing. Uh, stroke. See again. I would have given a stroke let, there. They've given a let. Let. let yeah. 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 So I've just stopped uh, giving decisions. I'll stick to commentary. Absolutely. Yeah, again, you know, he, this is, this Rahul, as I was telling you, you can't open the court up like that with uh, Pradhan to the front of the court with not enough quality because he will really hurt you from there. That's that's probably the strongest part of uh, Pradhan's game. That's a beautiful shot from Beta, wrong footing uh, Pradhan there completely. He needs a lot more quality into the front uh, beta if he's going to win this match. That's really well played by Beta up to now at this point. He's really put some work into Pradhan's legs here. Taken the ball early, anticipated the ball. They're again trying, but they overdid it a bit. But 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 that's good. That's good initiative at least taken from him. The 
a nice shot. Beautiful finish. Three, four. Better playing much better in this game compared to the first one I feel. Um, Settle down a lot more. It's really loose from Pradhan and not punished. Um, I think these are the little adjustments, you know, Beta will make as he starts to get more experience at this level. Those kind of openings and balls need to be put away much better and uh, too many mistakes. They are again unforced, completely unforced and at this level you cannot give away 3-4 points every game like that. I, I, I really didn't understand how that's a let, either a no let or a stroke. Yeah, again, Petha is just, you know, throwing in the post there, hoping to cut the next ball off, but Pradhan has too much quality for that kind of uh, simple plan. He's going to, you know, not fall for that. It'll work once, twice, but in the long run, it's not going to happen. They're getting hurt. Needs to create a lot more um, with quality from the back, and then, you know, take him in to the front with more quality as well. That's a phenomenal boost from Pradhan, and the follow-up too is really good. tight the line was on the I mean I didn't see anything wrong with Abhishek's movement there it was a loose shot from uh, Rahul and Pradhan is going to take his space ball was pretty tight the side wall after that a really intelligent shot from uh, Pradhan again I think Beta needs to just mentally recoup completely. Um, you know, he's he's mentally gone. He's switched off right now. And he needs to do that pretty quickly because Pradhan's type of game, uh, Pradhan will rattle off points really quickly if he's given the opportunity to do that. So, um, you know, Beta needs to get his act together a lot tighter, grind it out a little bit, um, you know, again, this has been an amazing tournament for Beta so far, it's the semi-finals of a men's uh, PSA event, um, just coming out of the under-19s, I think one or two years, been, been out. this will really help him, it will motivate him to work harder. Again, um, I want to thank HCL for this. And you know, if anyone else is watching, any other big corporates are watching, uh, we would love it if you support um, squash, you support more tournaments, support the players, the junior players, the junior circuit. Um, the way HCL is doing, um, it would be really useful for the kids, for for even our senior players. Nice, uh, nice length, nice width and nice uh, length from Beta. He actually punished a really loose post from Pradhan, and now Beta really needs to make a mark here. Um, again, next two points. 
again that service just you know at a crucial time needs to be better i think beta is looking a little bit um physically drained as well he's had a few tough matches before this or i don't know maybe you know the training phase is going on but he is looking a little bit slower than uh pradhan this a little bit of a gift though pradhan does like to take that backhand drop in and he does it quite well most of the time they're just going too low with it uh yeah, that's a complete unforced error again these are crucial points rahul is not um think them well for this level he needs to capitalize on these mistakes that pradhan is giving him whenever he's got a 2-1 lead he needs to turn it into a 3-1 or a 4-1 it's really tough otherwise you know once you let someone like a pradhan in he's not going to leave you and there you can see him just tightening up and the focus and and it'll mentally make it much tougher for a uh, better That's a phenomenal shot. That's a really difficult shot to execute with such a big backlift. Um, those are the gifts that Pradhan does possess. So you know, if he is flowing, it's really tough to beat him. There again, he's got a gift better, and and from here now, you know, I want, I would like him uh, to play the next few points. A lot, lot better than he has done in the past. If he is going to put any sort of pressure on Pradhan, see Pradhan just stepping up the pace a little bit now. He knows how important these points are. really wants to hurt beta here um, you know he does not want to give beta any sort of a look in this is a hard rally this is a tough tough rally for rahul that's loose that's too loose that's just too loose from rahul and that's i think they you know that was a bit of a physical uh, give up there almost where he felt that point was too much I have seen Beta and the juniors make massive comebacks. Um so, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he does suddenly switch on. He has that ability to do that. And you know, the hunger is there. Uh, you never know. Yeah, again, Pradhan has just lost focus of the fundamentals. and is trying too much um and and uh, beta needs to capitalize on this now that's a beautiful counter drop from rahul pradhan seems to have just lost his focus a little bit here again a lovely finish to the front this is the quality that you know i expect uh, from from rahul at this level the finish to the front hasn't been up to the mark until now and now he is just showing us what he is capable of doing Thank you. 
Uh, that is just a phenomenal point, and and you know Rahul at this point of time needs to just give credit to Pradhan there that that was a good shot and just move on from that point and stay focused. Um, the top of the tin i think would have been a stroke in any case so again a, a huge point i would like to see beta play these big points well it's an 86 is a big point again it's a, it's a, it's a you know it's a really easy point for pradhan there beta needs to do a lot better at those crucial times again this is a big point right now It's a complete gift. That's a lovely shot. That's a beautiful finish. That's a poor cross court from Pradhan. And that's put away really nicely from uh, Beta. That's that backhand drop he has. Um, it's tight. It's really tight and really difficult to um, defend. And he mixes that up really well with other shots. Again, you know, Beta has played this point at uh, this game up till this point so well, and the last four points he's hit three unforced errors at the crucial time, and this is where I feel like you know it's just lack of experience right now, which he will get as he continues to play these big matches. Um, not over yet. There again, that's an unforced error from Beta trying something extravagant. Um, Well played, well played uh, for the whole tournament for Beta. Pradhan obviously has the finals tomorrow with uh, Vela one. That's going to be a cracker. 